Okay, today I'm gonna do a little picture of Shailene Woodley here. Um, I know um, it's gonna be a little bit different because she's not fully straight on, right? She's sort of to the side, not necessarily somewhat three quarter, you know, um, not exactly three quarter, not exactly profile. So it can be a little tricky. So I will start with the head shape here and then we'll get going. All right, um, so let's get this show on the road. So when I'm drawing, I just sort of quickly sketch the outline and then I come back in here. Because when I sketch, I do it really lightly. Um, like this looks way too exaggerated. So we're gonna bring this in, make her chin not pointy. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll put my pencil here and I'll get the angle on my on my picture, not my drawing. I'll get the angle on my picture, and then I'll bring it here, so I can see I'm I'm relatively close. It just needs to be a little bit more sharp, so then all of this sort of gets taken away. So the only problem is if when you do this kind of like sketching type drawing, you do have to erase quite a bit, but that's okay. So again, I'm gonna come in here for the angle here, and actually I got it pretty pretty close. Then make sure, like is the jawline, so yeah, so where it curves here, does it curve the same right here? So pretty much does. And then come up, this actually needs to be a little bit, sorry, I gotta double check again since I erased here. Sorry, it's hard to see, I had to lift it up. Is it really in or is it part of the shadow? And I think it's just part of the shadow. So, cause that would be weird if her face came in that much. I mean, not that people don't have cheekbones and everything, but like, just a little weird. So we're bringing it up to the forehead. This actually might need to come up a little bit more here and like that. And this top part is not perfect yet, but I'm gonna add hair and we'll go back and sort of fix this. So I'm gonna, Look at this side here. There, that looks a little bit better. Because you do want a little bit of an indent because that's where your um, eye socket is, right? So just cleaning up angles here. That looks better. Okay. So if we do typical measurements, that's not gonna work, right? But we do know that eyes are still halfway, okay? So eyes are still halfway, especially since she's looking like her face isn't angled anywhere. So we're gonna, hold on, I gotta go back here. So yeah, like her hair is involved here. So if we were to like roughly put her hair on, it would be something like this. Her ear is somewhere over here and then her ponytail, right? Okay, so roughly that is what her hair is going to sort of look like, right? Um, so if we do halfway, so probably somewhere around here, yep. So this line here is our eye line and I'm curving it a little bit more on this side because of the three quarter view. Um, and then uh, her nose line, usually we have it in the middle, but it's not, it's a little bit over. So we're gonna move it a little over and we are definitely gonna curve this line because um, your face is round and when you turn to the side, it has a little bit more curved. So we've got that area there. Um, so then what I'm gonna do next is um, I'm gonna do the eyes. So yes, when we do things, we have like five eyes. So if we measure from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here, that's five eyes. And then this space is a lot less. So if we start on this side, realistically, gotta sort of get the 
hair. Yeah, it's pretty close. Realistically, if we start on that side, whatever is left here will be okay, right? So let's try to start this way. And I just sort of use my fingers. I think this is gonna be too small. And I have to go back, see like, look at, I didn't move my fingers correctly. So this needs to come over a tad. Oh, it might be good actually, since I remeasured it. It's a little close. So I think we're gonna have to make it a little bit small because there's no space on this side. So we'll come back, make it a little touch smaller, and then remeasure, because even that little touch smaller can really mess with things. So see, that's where the nose should be. So again, and I think it takes a little bit longer when you're doing something three quarter than anything else because of this weird angle and not being able to exactly measure like we normally would. I might be actually back to where I was before. So if that's the case, because everything else looks really good, like the nose, I might have to move her face out a little bit, which I think I'm gonna do. So sometimes you have to come back in here and move this line out just a tad so that the eye measurements look right, okay? So now if we have this line at a little bit of an angle here, it's a little curvy here and a little bit straighter there, then my eyes should, when I draw them, be how they're supposed to, right? So I'm gonna come in here and she has like sort of like her eyes come they're sort of like just typical eyes here they have a really nice straighter sort of curve here and this top part is just a nice curve and her eyeball is not all the way over here right there's less white here than here so I would come on this side first to try to figure that out. And then her eyelid, you can see her eyelid, it's skinnier over here and it gets a little bit thicker over here because of the way that she's turned. And you've got her pupil here and there's a pretty big highlight in here. See that, the highlight, iris, pupil. You could add that second highlight in here as well. So I think that's good. We might have to make it, it looks a little wide open. So I think I'm gonna just come in here and just ever so slightly. And it's interesting how just doing that really changes the shape of the eye. So even just bringing it up just a tad really changes it. That looks a little bit better. It's not so wide open. Um, so let's do this other eye here. And um, I always start with the inside corner, if you haven't noticed. And this eye is going to look a little bit different, even though it's the same width, really. It looks different because it's from that three-quarter view. So it's not that it's not the same eye around the same person. It just has a different feel. And sometimes the eyes don't look right until you add some shading on. Once you add this like dark area here, it really helps to pull everything together. So again, if we look, there's less white on this side than that side. You need the eyes to be on the same side or else they're going to look like they're looking two different directions and don't think you want that. Again, with the um, highlight, they need to be in the generally the same spot. They're probably not going to be the same shape but they need to be around that same spot. So I don't like how this is looking here. That's a little too, there was a little too like uh, angled or geometric instead of a little organic. And then here we come in 
and then her eyebrow, her eyelid, sorry, goes this way, and then it sort of disappears into that shading. I'm gonna add a little bit of her And you don't necessarily see how you can see more of the tear duct here than here. You don't really see that. It's sort of in shadow on this side. And then her eyebrows. I always have issues with eyebrows. Um, so it's a little bit farther out here. And if we go like this, then that should be where her eyebrow is. I always have a little bit of a trouble with eyebrows because, and actually her eyebrows are pretty angled. Um, I can never make them look the same. They always look slightly different from one side to the other. And if we look where like the angle is here, it's a little bit past the iris. So that's where it would come down here. And then you can always come back and erase these extra lines here. And then this eyebrow, if we look, you can't really see it getting started because it's gonna go into shadow and then it goes actually off the side of her head right? Um, so I'm going to start it. I'm going to try to get it even with this because we don't want eyebrows that are actually going to just draw a little line here because my, I'm going to put this here because my tend to, um, I tend to smudge. So if I have a piece of paper under my hand, works a little bit better. So that would be like her eyebrow on the other side because it does have a little bit more of a curve to it because of the angle of the face. All right, so that's what I would do for the eyes. Um, eyelash wise, you can add some on, but I like to add them on after shading because then you'll cover up the eyelashes with shading. And again, we don't need to have them everywhere. Like I've got areas of where there's no eyelashes because if you look here, you can't really see all of them. So make sure and over here, you can hardly see some of them. The other thing you have to be aware of is that eyelashes don't really go up over um, their eyelid, right? And bottom eyelashes we could add on, um, but again, I like to do that with shading because then you add that bottom lid in there. So you could sort of map it out if you wanted to. I'm gonna erase some of these lines I don't need anymore. So like this line here, when I come into shade, would need to be a whole lot lighter. And then you can add some in, but I would save that for later. So I'm gonna make the nose line here. Um, and it is halfway, if we look here, it is halfway. So she's pretty uh, like portioned to what we have learned. And again, So if we take this and come down, that's where her outside nostril is. And if we take this part and come down, that's where like the tip of her nose is. It goes out a little bit farther than that, but that's um, where you would put the nose. So if we look at where her nose is, the outside nostril, you don't really see too much. It's not a lot of uh, shading there, right? So um, we just sort of go like this and then her nose, if it comes from her eyebrow, right? if it comes from her eyebrow and comes down at an angle here, one thing that I always sort of forget to do is to make sure my curve happens before the end of the, um, before the line. So um, right now, this would be the outside and then you would have like a little bit of a shadow here for the nostril. Then right here would be where the separation of the nostrils are. And then you'd have like this inside section here where then the nostril would go up. And it doesn't look like super pretty right now, but um, that shading on there, I'm gonna make sure my angle's correct. Yeah, so that shading on there will really help define the nose, bring, you know, this area here where it comes in a little bit here with the shading and stuff. 
actually, that looks better. What I just did right there. <laughs> See, sometimes mistakes can be happy mistakes, just like Bob Ross. And then you have the outside of the nostril there. That does look a little, a lot better here. Cause then that, that inside part isn't so much. So lip wise, if we measure her lips, they are, the bottom of her lip is halfway. Go back and double check because I sort of moved. Okay, so bottom of our lips. And again, if we go to look to see where it lines up, so it lines up almost close to that iris there. And then this actually is where this iris is. So really close to where the nose is. And then this is all the way out here. Sometimes even erasing these extra lines really helps because then it helps you see like what's there and what's not there, right? So like, I don't need that line. I don't need this big line going up, this line in the middle here. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this because the rest of it is shading. I erase that eye a little bit there. So a lot of this, like that's a little too dark. And sometimes even if you have your, it's a little darker than the other side, it looks off. So if you lighten it up, it really helps. But if we look at the lips, you can see here where the divot is, is right here. So I'm just gonna draw a, some lines down so we know where that divot is. And it's gonna be shorter this way than this way because of the angle of her face. So she doesn't have a super big one, but it's there. And then the angle, because I always, uh, I struggle sometimes with the angle of things. And these look a little big, but I'm gonna put the, yeah, see, like, that's too full. So that means that I need to bring this line down a little bit here. So I brought my, uh, brought my top of my lip line down a little bit and that really does help and then you have to remember that the inside of sorry I was going off camera a little bit there the in the middle line is not um, straight I'm actually gonna take these lines out because this one's a little bit more curved this one has comes here. So, and it's all shading. So it does look off right now because they're at different heights and stuff, but realistically all that is gonna be with shading. So if we look at her ear, it's a little bit above her nose. So if I like were to draw a line, it's a little, probably like there, a little bit above her nose and a little bit above her eye. So, and it's back here though. It's not, she's gotta have a little bit of hair right? And if we look and see, it does go out here. So there, and then if we erase this part, because hair will come here, right? And then she's got this like wispy here, and there's another wispy here. Got the inside of the ear here. Sort of like this. And my ears always look weird until I start shading because then you can really get in and get the shape. Like that looks too thick there, but we can always come back and modify it. And then from her ear, if you look from her ear, her neckline comes. So from her ear, and if we look at this curve, 
sort of starts where her chin is and it comes down and has an angle like that. So you won't see So for my picture, you won't see much of her shirt and stuff because I made her head really big. And then from here, we've got her ponytail, right? And her hair, you know, this part comes back like behind the ears. This part here, it's going this way, then it eventually starts to come down. And then this part here, I think is a little bit closer to her head. Because remember, this is her head right here. Because she's got all these fun little wispies out here, which can sometimes be frustrating, but I mean, that's what we have, right? So you have to sort of do them, make them look a little bit more realistic. And then if we look at her, her neck, sorry, I forgot the word. It sort of comes from the tip of her nose. So if we come here and then we make an angle here. That. Sorry, I was just trying to look. She's got a little like divot in her shoulder because of the way that it's positioned. Well, I guess it's divot, but it comes up a little bit, right? And then we've got our tank top and it does come like here. Then you would have a little bit of the tattoos And again, not perfect, but just a little something. So I hope this helps. But again, things may mod be modified when you start shading or anything along those lines, but it's pretty close. <laughs>